the spiritual significance of water is consciousness. So now, consciousness is of paramount importance. In your life, in your life, in my life, in his life, in all, everybody's life consciousness. Is a consciousness has to be awakened, consciousness has to be elevated to the highest. So, wherever you get inspiration, we will go. In the evening, we will look all in the morning when the day breaks. We will look at the sky for freshness, purity. And this freshness, purity that we are seeing in dawn, we have to try to feel it inside our heart. When you look at a flower, the beauty, we have to feel that inside our heart, the same flower. After us, you have to feel the heart itself. Heart is the flower itself. Heart is flower. Heart is not holding a flower inside it. No, heart has become the flower. And that, flower, that heart flower has fragrance in infinite measure. And God created that flower and enjoying the beauty and fragrance of this flower. If the gardener is responsible for the plant and for the flower, he is, let us say, he is the creator. And the creator, when he looks at his creation, the beautiful flower, when he enjoys, he is so happy because it is creation. Here is the oneness of creator uh, and the creation. When he, he worked uh, for a few months with the plants, he was the creator. Then when you see the flower, his own creation, he is so happy. He feels his own identification oneness, identification oneness with the flower. So here the creator and the creation have become oneness. So wherever you get inspiration, we have to go in order to become a better person.